well, good morning, and welcome to this special Island Stat Sports Talk. I'm your host, Earl Basin. I'm joined by uh, Bermuda National Squad Captain Kamal Levrock. Uh, Kamal, first of all, thanks for joining. Um, got some interesting news. Obviously, you, you've already signed uh, to play in the UK uh, already this summer. Uh, but before that, you'll be off to the Houston Open uh, T20 tournament. Um, just talk a little bit about the, the, the tournament and what, coming from the, the, the U.S. Open tournament, now going to the Houston Open tournament, um, just talk, talk a bit about what, what you are hoping you can accomplish um, for your team. Um, yeah, I'm playing for a new team in the uh, Houston Open. Hopefully, you know, I could, could uh, get us to the finals and hopefully win the tournament. Um, that's always the goal. And I'm just trying to get my name out there, you know, in any of these tournaments. So I guess, you know, I did a pretty fairly good job uh, playing in the U.S. Open. And, um, you know, a few people are knocking around, hoping to get me to play for the teams going forward. Mm. Now, obviously, it's a short window tournament. Um, the U.S. Open was over, I think, about a week, but this one is over just about, what, four days? Yeah, this one's um, a, a smaller tournament than the U.S. Open, but, you know, there will be some big names about. Um, I think each team is is uh, has three or four overseas players and the rest are local USA players, so... It'd be good to get around a few few more of the USA guys um, that I you know don't know and and a few guys on my team and I, I know um, my mate Natish is playing uh, Riyad Mahrez is also on my, I'm not Mahrez Riyad Emirat is on my team as well so um, it should be should be good. Mm. Now you you're kind of unique in that form that that you like to go after the ball and, and make that contact early and get off the mark. I think that was one of the things that in the U.S. Open people were attracted to. And the fact that you could also, uh, you know, throw down a few overs for your team and not give up as much runs. But, um, you know, that is that the, 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 the reason behind you think teams are looking for you to be in their lineup? Um, yeah, you know, quite a dynamic player as, as most coaches would, would describe me. So, you know, T20 is all about being dynamic and um, just, just you know, being impact players. Um, so I can impact in many parts, pretty much all three forms of the game. So it's, it's quite easy to, to be noticed in that, in that, in that standard. Hmm. Now, the fact that you're going to be after that heading to the UK for a season, um, you know, it, the the change of form of, of of game, um, yes, they will play T Twenty, they will play Open, they will play uh, limited overs as well. Um, adjusting to that, I know sometimes some players um, like to like to play one form of the game, but I think watching you over the years, you you tend to to figure out how to um, you know change gears uh, at times whenever the the tournament or or competition or match. Uh, re recalls it. Yeah, um, you know, cricket's cricket's a simple, simple game. Um, you just have to keep it simple. So, you know, with with the format changes, you just have to kind of differentiate how and when you want to score. You know, in T Twenty, you're looking to hit a boundary and then you dress down. Fifty overs, you're looking to you know rotate the strike, hit the odd boundary, and in you know your open format, you're looking to defend first soak up time and then latch on to the bare ball. So you just have to, you know, have those have those plans. And you know, same with the bowling, you know, bowling wise in twenty twenty you're looking to contain. Fifty overs you're looking to contain and take odd wickets here and there. Um and in uh the longer format, you just want to hold the line, contain and, you know, take wickets. So, you know, it's just about identifying the situations that you're in and and it comes with experience. Mm. Now, due to COVID, the unfortunate thing for you was you were having um, a, a stint in in Australia over over the well our winter, but their summer, um, which which kind of took you away from that. I think looking at the way things were developing in in I think 2019 uh, or 2018, whichever one, um, you know, playing in Australia for you, I think I think it it kind of helped your temperament at times because 
there were you were playing the longer version where you were playing a two day game uh, on two different weekends, and then you were playing limited overs, if not T20, on on a Sunday. Um, did that help groom you into the player you have become of late? That that on one day I need to be patient, uh, whether I'm batting or bowling, and the next day I need to to help my my team score runs. Um, you know. As, as quickly as possible. Yeah, um, I think with that that year, 2018, um, moving on to 2019, um, playing for 12 months rather than six months of the year, you know, helped me to, to, to hone my skills and figure out what type of player I was. Um, you know, obviously with, with six months playing and then taking a break and then coming back, you don't really get a chance to figure out your full potential as a cricketer you know if you start to click in your last two months of playing and you start playing you know you're just training you don't get the full the full visual you 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 forget what made you good in those last two months of your season so i think playing for that 12 months fully helped me realize what type of game i can play you know what are my strengths and weaknesses what to work on weakness wise and then to bring it all together now we know well let's talk a little bit of international um uh we know bermuda has commitments this this summer uh we're still waiting on an announcement of, of a national coach but what are you hoping the players are doing to prepare themselves for the tournament which is close and in around cop match time well, you know, our main thing on tour is fitness. So I hope everyone's keeping fit, you know, rather than playing football or, you know, going for runs, just just keeping themselves fit and in condition to, to get ready to play for a long summer. Because I know it's about uh, two two tournaments a summer within three months. You know, that's a lot of 50 over cricket, more 50 over cricket than, you know, anybody in Bermuda has played in the last two years. So just hoping, hopefully, that they get get fit, and you know, everyone is ticking by the time that comes. Mm. Take take us through that the your first time as as a, as this captain of the senior men's team, and what you learned about yourself and some of the players um, that you that you've played with. Um, yeah, I think um, the first game, I I I kind of you know got into into the moment. Um, I had a plan and I think I didn't veer off from the plan as much as I could. I wasn't as flexible. And then moving forward, I was a bit more flexible. I was able to to make, you know, decisions better off the cuff. Um, so as the tournament got, got on, I got a little bit better. And then I also realized that I can't deal with Bermudian players as I would deal with a English player per se. So I think man management was 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 the biggest thing for me. And we, as as we went on, I was able to manage each each player a bit better and, and get that rapport with them to get the best out of them. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, after this, uh, the Houston Open, you're, you're going to a new club. What do you know about this club and, and, and what are you looking forward to while you're there? Yeah, this club that I'm playing for this summer, um, they don't usually do, do um, pros. They normally, you know, have the local players and that's it. Um, but they they want to have a big uh, promotion push. Um, so they've just got me on board to, to come in and have some experience and drive the players forward to, to, to be promoted into the next league. Mm. And, and of course, how important is it to have an agent uh, for, for the sport of cricket? Because, uh, you know, since, since you've had an agent on board, a lot of other things have opened up for you where you you're you could only you now only have to deal with cricket as opposed to having to deal with trying to search and you know what i mean yes um it's it's a lot easier you know all i have to do is focus on cricket now before i had to you know try and create avenues for myself so now the avenues are created by me just playing well you know i don't have to physically promote myself you know i my agent could do that for me. So with, I think I had an agent. I had an agent before, but he um, he wasn't. He didn't have many contacts, um, or he did have many contacts, but he was obviously focused on something else. Um, 
so this new agent that I have now, he's 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 just been on it ever since. You know, um, he's got me a kit deal. You know, I have a, a new sponsorship. That's um, and then he's also got me in these these tournaments right off the right off the bat. So I think me and him will have a have a good um relationship going forward because he's always working for me. Mm. All right. Well, uh, that that tournament in in Houston is is. Uh, March thirtieth to April third, uh, and then and then you head straight over to the UK, or are you coming back to Bermuda? No, straight back over to the UK. Um, April sixteenth is my first game out here. Um, it's a cup game for my for my club, but um, also have another tournament hopefully in Washington, um, May twenty fourth. So, you know, like like I said, my agent's doing doing some some great work and. Um, Hopefully that comes off as well too. So just keep traveling and playing. Well, uh, hopefully it all puts you in good nick for when uh, the country needs it, um, and and hopefully you get some support. Uh, you know, hopefully the guys here, uh, are, like you said, are doing what they need to do to prepare. And you know, it's going to be a tough battle, but but obviously, you know, that's that's what that's what makes us so strong. I mean, we're a small country, but we can achieve so much if we all do the right things at the right time. So. Let's yeah, see. we are not. We're not short of. We're not short of talent on the island. You know, a lot of a lot of the foreign coaches that have came to Bermuda always say that the talent is not of shortage. You know, we are we have the best players, but we just need um someone to to, you know, help push those players along. And I I've seen you know I think I've seen a couple of videos of St George's Cricket Club already training for the summer ahead. So that's that's good to see. You know, a, a lot of the players that play for the national squad also play for St George's. And hopefully, you know, a couple of clubs see those videos and it, it motivates them to start training very, very soon. Mm. All right. Well, I want to wish you all the best. We'll be looking out for those scores. Uh, and, and hopefully you have a wonderful tournament that propels you guys to the, to the final and actually win it all. Thanks very much. All right. Well, enjoy the rest of the day. See? Cheers. Thanks.